when ChatGPT first came out, I was very dismissive of its capabilities. Everyone was talking about how it was going to change the world and I just wasn't convinced. But as more humans have begun training ChatGPT, it's come leaps and bounds. And AIP RM's new Google Chrome extension is what finally convinced me. It's legitimately made me rethink where I want to invest my energy in the future and it probably will change the world. At the very least, how we create written content. In this video, I will be showing you everything you need to know about AIP RM's new Google Chrome extension, what it is, how to download it, and five of its coolest curated prompts. Plus, at the end of this video, I'll be sharing how you can use it to earn passive income. I just feel like this needs to be said. OpenAI is currently pulling one of the greatest marketing stunts in recent history. I'm not sure how much of this was intentional, but let me just explain how we got to this point and what I think OpenAI's master plan is. So to give you a brief timeline, in mid-2022, OpenAI began marketing their new text-based AI platform, ChatGPT. And with Elon Musk being one of OpenAI's early investors, it spread like wildfire. Then in November of 2022, it launched for free with no restrictions. People began using it to reveal hidden conspiracies and analyzing security vulnerabilities in major banks and corporations. It became clear that the world just wasn't ready for such a powerful tool and OpenAI dialed back its capabilities. Since then, we've been training ChatGPT for free, telling it exactly what we want, like, and need. So this is just my opinion, but I believe in a few years from now, OpenAI will release a completely world-changing product with all the information we've given it. Think Ex Machina mixed with 2001 Space Odyssey. Even just imagine if ChatGPT had a voice and a face. Two things we could easily do, and I've already seen people attempt using ChatGPT4's API integrations. Anyway, that's just my opinion. That's not what this video is about. So let me introduce you to AIP RM's new Google extension and five of its coolest curated prompts. So what is AIRPM? Well, it's a Google Chrome extension with direct integration to ChatGPT. Essentially, it allows users to create their own prompt templates for other users to use. And if you're not AI savvy like me and find it hard to direct ChatGPT, it makes the process insanely easy. You can download it from the Google Chrome store for free. I learned about AI PRM's ChatGPT extension this week, and for the last few days, I've been experimenting with its capabilities. I've even started a side project on one of my Medium accounts, which I will tell you about a little bit later. For now, let's hop on a computer and I will show you the five coolest prompts from AIP RM's curated list of chat GPT prompts. Hi, and welcome to my computer. So what you can see here is the homepage of AIP RM's chat GPT extension. And when you start a new chat, it'll automatically open up to this page. And you can see here, um, here are the public prompts, which I, I will um, show you in just a second. You can, there's also a section here for your own prompts. So if you'd like to make your own, you can. Um, and this ties into something I'll talk about a little bit later of how you can actually use it to, to make passive income. Um, but for now, let's explore the pre-made prompts um, and what they can do. So you can see here, you can search by topic. They have lots of different topics here. You can sort by the votes, by views, by the latest updated. Um, you can also search for anything you're interested in. So let's say you wanted help with a YouTube script. You could type that in. You see somebody has made um, a prompt for that. So um, the first one I want to show you is, um, I think it's going to pop up here, right here, mid-journey prompt generator. If you're interested in making AI art but need some help with creating prompts that make beautiful images, this is an amazing tool. What you can do here is type in a keyword. So let's say you'd like an image of an old man overlooking the ocean. You can type that in here and it will give you a prompt. And then what you can do is take this and copy it into mid journey and it will produce a much more detailed 
a beautiful image than if you were just to write an old man overlook the ocean. You can see here, it actually gave me a few different prompts, which is nice. And um, this also is a really good tool for teaching you how to make prompts yourself. Because if you're like me, AI may be completely new to you and the idea of making images is a little bit overwhelming. So this is a great way um, either to copy and paste the prompts or just to um, teach yourself how to make them. So let's open up a new chat and I will show you the second prompt template that I want to show you, which is this one here, human written content, 100% unique SEO optimized article. Now, when I first got introduced to ChatGPT, I didn't like the idea of an AI being able to write an entire article on its own. Being someone who is a big fan of written content, um, it feels like it just takes the art right out of it. But that said, um, it's scary how good this is and how easy it is to use. I've, I found that it also creates more descriptive and a better written content than if you um, simply ask ChatGPT to write you an article, especially if you're unskilled in creating prompts like me. You can see here, you simply enter a keyword or title. So let me do one I did earlier, but the benefits of raw honey, um, you can adjust the tone. So let's go friendly and descriptive. I found that to be a good combination for articles. And you just hit submit, and it, you can see here, it will outline an entire article for you. Now I'm currently running some experiments on how these articles actually perform um, on Medium. As I said, I don't love the idea of an AI being able to do the job that I take pride in. That said, if you can't beat them, join them. And if, if this is the way the world wants to go, then um, it's smart to learn how to use these systems as to not get left behind by newer technology. So you can see here a complete article here with headings, subheadings, um, even FAQs at the bottom. If you have your own blog, that can be really helpful for ranking and SEO. Okay, and the third tool I wanted to show you is the write a complete book in one click template. As someone who's just beginning to look into self-publishing my first book on Amazon, this is really interesting to me. One of the barriers for me to actually publish a book has been the amount of effort it takes to write a book and the potential that not having a great understanding of how to rank and how to actually be found on Amazon, all that um, effort could potentially be for nothing or for very little. So I've actually considered doing a test run with a book either written by a AI or a children's book that I would write myself. But regardless of what you want to use this for, it's a very impressive and frankly scary feature. So let's say I want to write a fiction novel on AI taking over the world. You can see here it's taken its time. If you have the pro version or the plus version, I would assume this would be much faster, but um, I'm just using the free version. So I won't wait for this entire book to populate for obvious reasons, but the point is, um, again, scary and intriguing that this is able to write an entire book with a simple prompt. Number four, which is a YouTube script creator. Very self-explanatory here. Um, if the script is a barrier preventing you from starting a YouTube channel or you just find it very time consuming, this can be incredibly helpful. So let's say um, I wanna write a, a script on a YouTube video about, um, AIPRM's Google Chrome extension for ChatGPT. I'm just gonna try this. I don't think it'll work because it came out after September 2021, which is where it has, um, where the limitations of its information is, but it has information on it. That's amazing. So um, as a writer, I actually like writing the scripts. That's my favorite part of the YouTube video making process for me the tough part is actually speaking them aloud so this is not something i will use personally but um i've learned that this the scripts for a lot of people is the hardest part it's also very time consuming so a very very cool for anyone that runs a youtube channel number five is a really cool tool i actually 
found in a video by designed by Canva. Um, it's a channel I love. Um, I find it super handy. So it was really cool to see that um, Ron from Design with Canva has actually made a template and added it to this extension. So this essentially gives you a buyer persona for the products you sell. So let's say you sell um, website templates on website templates on Etsy. You can type that in there um, and it will actually populate a buyer persona. So I find this really interesting to be able to visualize your your customer name, age, what type of job they have, and then some other interests that they might have or where they live. Actually has tons of information here. So their potential needs, dreams, their challenges so you can help them overcome those things. You can even use this for articles. I don't sell physical products, but, but let's say um, I want to write an article on, on the benefits of mindfulness. What does your business sell? Let's say mindfulness lessons. It's essentially what a blog post is. Let's just, yeah. Okay. So we'll try this now. So if I um, want to write an article on mindfulness, it can be helpful to imagine the type of people that may be interested in the topics. And this leads me perfectly to my last point, which is how you can use this yourself to actually earn passive income. So if you are somebody that is interested in AI or would like to learn how to make prompts like these, you can actually create your own prompts like we saw at the beginning. Um, and it seems like it's pretty easy here. There's just a series of information. Um, obviously, they have to be tested, be helpful for them to rank highly on that page because most people will be searching for these prompts based on votes or views. And essentially what happens is anytime somebody uses the prompt, either at the end here or even at the beginning on some, you can add a link. So it tells you who made it and then it gives you a link. So this link can be to a, an online store you have, your social media profiles, or even just a site like PayPal or Buy Me A Coffee where people can leave donations. You can see here, Ron has linked it to his to a YouTube playlist. Very smart because people are obviously interested in AI if they are using it. And this um, is an awesome way to get more views on these videos. Um, I won't try to find it, but there was one that just had a link to the Buy Me a coffee and it said in the description if you enjoyed this leave me a donation to be honest ai is still a little bit scary to me and particularly as someone who writes for a living a text-based ai uh, makes me feel like i need to adapt or be left behind so uh, i feel like i can look at it one of two ways on the side of pessimism i can look at it as text-based AI platforms and extensions like this that make it so easy to make written content will flood the internet with um, derivative content, not to mention spread misinformation. So that's one way, the pessimistic side. On the optimistic side, I can look at this as a way to um, create content faster, get to um, help spark my own creativity and if you can learn to use this as a device to earn yourself passive income, that can open up the opportunity for you to spend more time on the things that you feel passionate about. It can actually make a positive impact. So for me, I've always been interested in writing fiction, but I found nonfiction articles to be um, much more profitable and I have never actually um, found the time or financial space to actually, to pursue it in any meaningful way. So currently I'm running a, an experiment with AI articles. I will release some more information on that um, in, the, in the coming weeks. I would love to hear your thoughts on AI. So leave a comment below um, on how this makes you feel. Is it scary to you? Are you excited? Do you have any specific plans? I would love to hear it all and responding to comments is one of my favorite things. So. This concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new posts. Okay, have a great day. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next video.